Hello, hello, and welcome to the Abundology Podcast. My name is Renee Spears, and I'm a spirit guide channeler and spiritual life and business mentor, and I help people be happy and attract more money, love, time, and joy in their lives. I'm coming to you from beautiful Bozeman, Montana, and this is the weekly energy update for the week of April 30th, 2023. Every Sunday, I talk about how the energy is going to be for the week ahead, and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes, so you get a little positive energy boost just for listening. And this podcast has taken me longer to prepare than any of the other 263 podcasts I've done, just because there's so much going on this week, and I want to include it all, but then you'd be listening for an hour, so I think I've done my best to summarize everything. And what it all boils down to this week is change, but super great enlightening change that moves us 10 steps forward. So keep that in mind as we go through everything. We begin the new month of May deep in eclipse season. We had that powerful solar eclipse about 10 days ago. And this week on Friday the 5th, we have a lunar eclipse in Scorpio. As you know, eclipses are a highly transformative time, shifting us from one chapter of our lives to the next. While a solar eclipse opens the portal for new beginnings and change, a lunar eclipse helps us complete our shift to the new. Full moon eclipses bring endings and closure and transformative events that shift us from one state of consciousness to the next. Sudden change can happen, allowing us to release the past and shift our lives in a new direction. Lunar eclipses are basically supercharged full moons, and like full moons, they're revealing. They reveal the truth, often in a dramatic way, and we learn things that change our life course. It's important to accept what is revealed on a lunar eclipse. Can it sometimes be shocking? Sure, but we can't fight or change the truth. Even if you get unwanted news or unexpected events happen, know that these are the universe's way of shifting you to the best thing for your evolution. Trust that whatever happens now is happening at the exact right moment that you need it. This eclipse is an opportunity to create significant change in your life. Lunar eclipses bring us information from out of nowhere. You may be surprised or even caught off guard at some of the things you learn about yourself and others. But remember, not all of the info is negative. It may be exactly the inspiration and encouragement you need to shift your life. It's also important to understand that all of this is happening to move you forward. We're getting an energetic push from the cosmos to move us out of stuck energy and old patterns. This forward motion can feel a little disruptive and you may even resist it initially, But there is no moving backward on the lunar eclipse. There is only a path forward. So if you try to cling to the old stuff that no longer serves you, you'll feel frustrated. So if and when the lunar eclipse reveals something in your life that needs to be released, it's best to find the easiest and least dramatic way to release it and move the fuck on. The reason I'm talking so much about change is that Scorpio, where this eclipse takes place, is one of the most transformative signs of the zodiac. And when it's paired up with a lunar eclipse, it's a powerful time for revelations, change, and huge psychological breakthroughs. What makes Scorpio's energy so intense is that it brings us face to face with the present moment. It stops us in our tracks and it asks us to confront our reality. We get straight to the heart of the matter. We can't lie to ourselves on this eclipse and we cannot be lied to. But there's no reason to be afraid of anything. In astrology, eclipses open a karmic doorway when anything, and I mean anything, can happen. And this eclipse happens on our south node. So remember that the north node is all about our future, our destiny, and where we're going. While the south node represents the energetic baggage of our past, So we're releasing our baggage with this eclipse so that we can travel lighter on our journey forward. More good news is that it's happening in Scorpio, which gives us the strength to not only handle everything, but heal from it and turn it into wisdom. When you face your deepest fears, your triggers, your limiting beliefs, and your conditioned patterns, you cut the strings and you free yourself. You take control of your life and your behavior. 
This eclipse is our opportunity to step into our power. It's here to remind us of our power and point out where we are limiting ourselves. And it may show up in a couple of particular ways where we not we, where we're not fully in our power. The first one is not being present. This is the time to look at what you do to avoid and distract yourself from being present. And there's so many ways we do this. TV, video games, focusing on work or money or relationships. The things that you've been avoiding will come up now to be thought about and dealt with. So this is the time to embrace all the tourist season stuff and slow down, spend time in nature, and enjoy being alive. I got the opportunity to practice this yesterday. In a couple weeks, I'm launching a weekly spiritual practice to go along with the podcast. So my plan was to prepare for this by getting my podcast done early and recording a video for it yesterday. And it was a beautiful day here. I mean, the sun was out. It was 70 degrees, a perfect day to relax and enjoy life. So I got to practice what I preach, and I chose to spend the day hiking and planting flowers and being present instead of spending the day working on the podcast. Being is the right choice now. Being present makes this time of change so much easier. The second thing up for us right now is owning and stepping into our power to take care of ourselves and trust our ability to create abundance, money, and security. This is one of the biggest places people don't show up in their power. So it's time to release the limiting beliefs that are holding you back from owning your financial situation. You are the one responsible for the abundance in your life. And it's so empowering to realize that. One thing that stands out under this eclipse is some of the magic symbolism and synchronicities behind it. So this eclipse falls on the fifth day of the fifth month at 14 degrees of Scorpio. So 14 also adds up to five, making the five energies very apparent and strong. What is also interesting is that the Sabian symbol correlated with 14 degrees of Scorpio is children playing with five mounds of sand. Sabian symbols are clairvoyant images downloaded by the psychic Elsie Wheeler for each degree of the zodiac. And astrologers have worked with these images since the 1920s, using them to bring added meaning to cosmic events. So this eclipse carries the energy of number five. And you guessed it, five is all about change. (laughs) And it's a master at being able to go with the flow. It is happiest when things feel fresh and full of possibility. The only thing this number is truly attached to is being unattached. And being unattached and going with the flow is the way we embrace this time. Fated events are happening now. You can't change fate. Accept what may come and know that this is exactly the transformation you need in your life right now. Surrender to the timing and allow whatever comes to come and allow whatever goes to go. No matter how great you are at embracing change, it needs time to integrate into your life. So give yourself the space and time. Slow down. Take it easy. There is no rush here. This energy is part of a continuous path that will last throughout the year. Allow your transformation to unfold naturally. Be kind to yourself and know you are exactly where you need to be right now for your highest energetic evolution. And remember to be kind to others as they're going through these intense energies as well. Briefly, May is a three universal month in numerology. Three months are about creativity, socializing, and simply having fun and enjoying life. And I just love how all these things work together. We're experiencing a metric shit ton of change and May as a three month and being in Taurus season helps us with all of it by inviting us to slow down have fun, and enjoy life, and know that it's all working out for our highest good. Everything is working out. Everything is working out for the best. Everything is working out for your highest good. Everything is okay. Everything is better than you could even imagine was possible. And that's it for the week. You know, no big deal. Just some faded changes happening. Just a little destiny. (laughs) This might be a really good time to get some reassurance and clarity from your spirit guides to know that you are, in fact, on the right path. 
So if you're on my email list, you received a coupon code this week to save 40% on appointments. You'll also get a free weekly spiritual practice in a couple weeks too when that releases. And if you're not on my email list, I'll put a link to sign up in the show notes so you can save that 40% too. So as always, thank you for listening and passing this podcast on to a friend you think may find value in it. And I appreciate you sharing it. We've made the top podcasts on Apple in over 10 different countries now. And that is thanks to you sharing the podcast. So have a wonderful life-changing week and I will talk to you again next week.